everybody! How are you guys? I hope you guys are good. Um, today I have a new tutorial for you this time. I'm going to show you how to do, how to revamp a t-shirt, actually. <laughs> so, this is very simple. As you can see, this is the t-shirt that we're going to be uh, transforming. It has the cut out uh, shoulder that is very pretty. I really like it. Also, I did a little bit of the weaving here on the front. And the back, let me show you. The back looks like this. I hope you can see it. There you go. Can you see it? Yep. It looks like that. It's really pretty, um, very edgy. And I really love this kind of uh, t-shirts because, you know, sometimes you have to inject your own personality to your clothes. And this is a great way to do that. Also, I really love uh, to exercise. I go to the gym a lot. <laughs> so this is a good way to dance some Zumba with stylish clothes that you uh, made, that you have uh, uh, done yourself. So I hope you guys like this tutorial. Let me know if you do. And thanks so much for watching. See you later. Bye. So the materials that you need obviously are going to be a t-shirt and some scissors. Now I want to apologize in advance because my English is not like perfect and sometimes I don't know how to say different parts uh, of the t-shirt and things like that so I really 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 hope you can understand this. Anyway, first of all as you can see I'm just trying to cut the neck because I don't need that neck and I want to have like a bold neck for this t-shirt. Uh, keep in mind that I'm only cutting like one finger apart from the neck to the actual um, cutting place uh, that I'm cutting. <laughs> oh my god, this is going to be so hard to explain. Anyway, the neck it's out and I highly recommend you not to throw that uh, to the garbage because probably you're going to be using that little piece for another t-shirt. So, here is the back of the t-shirt, as you can see, it's completely plain and it's folded in half. Now, I'm going to show you how to fold it because you want to fold only the back part. Your main purpose for this is to find the two um, arms. Can you say arms? Um, I'm not sure, but try to find to align the two arms uh, together so you have folded only the back part of your t-shirt just like that okay so as you can see the front of the t-shirt it's on the right side of the video and as you can see it's folded the t-shirt right so that part that I'm going to be working on it's going to be only the back Okay, so first I'm going to start cutting uh, some little pieces of the t-shirt and I'm going to be leaving between the uh, pieces one inch apart or maybe you can uh, uh, use your finger to try to keep like a uh, equal um, separation between the cuts. Now, this is a little uh, secret. The longer or the yeah, the longer you cut, you're going to reveal more skin. If you don't want to do that, don't do the cuts too uh, long, too, too big. <laughs> okay? So you're going to have to cut all of that until you reach till the end of the t-shirt. So I know sometimes these, uh, these things can be tedious, but don't worry, uh, it's well worth it and it's gonna look really pretty I promise Oof. okay a couple of more and I think that's gonna be it let me see there we go so after you have cut in your um, back it's gonna look like this right now we're gonna open that part and I'm gonna show you the back that it's the only part that we cut there you have it you can see it now the next thing is going to be to stretch those strings all the way because you want to have like a very tiny curly strings on the back. So you're going to have to do this on the entire um, back. You can do it all together or you can do what I'm doing right now that it's uh, one at a time. Okay. 
I highly recommend you to do it one at a time because sometimes you can miss one and when you think that you're finished actually it's not gonna look like really good and you want to look edgy and sexy right so uh, try to do it good okay take your time okay so that's the end I'm almost done I only need to do the last one there we go when you finish to do that you're gonna have something that look like this that it's very sexy you can leave it as it is or you can just go ahead and cut the end or the edges of the uh, t-shirt I'm gonna cut it because I don't want it and I want to I want my t-shirt to roll up a little bit at the lower part so I'm just gonna do that but if you don't like that just leave it as it is once again don't throw away any excess of the uh, fabric that you have because you probably are going to be using these for another project really okay so let me show you now how this looks because I want you to see how it looks without the edge of the t-shirt there we go I really like it like that okay so now it's time to weave the back of the t-shirt and this part it's a little complicated and I really really hope you can understand it okay let me try to explain you first of all you're gonna grab the first string I'm gonna be calling the strings by number so you can understand this better you're gonna hold it with two fingers and then you're gonna twist it and form a loop I'm going to explain that again. You're going to grab the first string that it has to be really stretched out, just like that. Grab it with two fingers, twist it just a little bit to form a loop, just like that. There we go. And then you're going to grab the second string and you're going to be introducing that into the first loop that you have. Uh, just like that now introduce it from the front not to the back okay there we go after you have introduced the string number two into the loop now with the string number two you're gonna have to repeat the process you're gonna hold it do a little twist and form another loop let me show you again there we go then I have the loop okay and then you're gonna grab string number three and you, you're gonna pass it through the loop just like that we're gonna be repeating the process now we have string number three we're gonna twist it and form another loop and then we're gonna be introducing string number four so I think you got it right we're gonna be doing this all over until we reach the end of the t-shirt it's a little bit tedious and you have to uh, put all your attention because you don't want to miss any string okay when you reach till the end you're gonna have something like this and don't worry it doesn't look perfect yet but we need to stretch it and do a little bit uh, more of um, the stretching okay so at the end of this weaving or uh, thing that we've been doing you're gonna have uh, something like this what you're gonna be doing now it's going to be easy you're gonna cut that loop in half so now you have two pieces of strings that you are going to be knotting you're gonna be doing a double knot on the uh, on each string there we go very simple I don't have to explain you how to do that because it's very very easy right okay so I'm going to repeat the process and I'm going to be doing the same double knot on the other side and then I'm going to be cutting the excess of the fabric with the scissors just like that it's very simple actually there we go okay so now it's time to stretch the back it's very simple you're just gonna grab the ends of the uh, t-shirt and you're gonna stretch it really 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 good so that way all of that uh, loops are gonna get in place and that's gonna look very pretty there we go so that's the final result okay so now let me breathe a little bit <laughs> 
Okay, now we're going to be doing the how do you call this on English? I don't I don't remember. Um in Spanish it's called las mangas, but I don't know the arms maybe. Anyway, we're just going to be repeating the process. We're just going to be cutting one inch apart of each string that we have. Now you can leave it until you reach the seam of the t-shirt, but I'm going to continue to do it until I reach the neck, okay? Once again, I'm just going to be stretching each and every band of the fabric that I have created. Stretch it really, really, really good. And after that, probably you're going to find some strings that are going to be broken or a broken apart or something like that. It's very simple. Just attach it again with a little knot and cut the excess. There we go. Very, very simple. If you want to have this look, you can also cut in half every uh, band that you have created and then you can just grab the ends and do a knot on each and every little string and it's gonna look really pretty but I'm just gonna leave it as it is so let me show you this is the back of the t-shirt there we have the weaving that looks really pretty and I really like it <laughs> and that's the once again the same word that I don't remember what's wrong with my brain I don't know and now we're gonna move on to the front of the t-shirt because it's a little plain and it needs a little something so I'm just gonna be doing the same just I'm just going to be cutting three pieces and I'm gonna form three strings on that area the first one that I'm cutting right now is going to be longer so I'm just gonna cut more fabric on that area the second one that is going to be a little bit apart it's going to be middle size and the other one's going to be very small it's very little now uh, don't forget to stretch really good every piece of fabric that you have so it's gonna help you with the look and also if you want you can weave this part again with the twisting and creating the looping that I showed you previously or if you want you can just leave it as it is so that's it basically this is the look um, this is the shirt I hope you like it I'm sorry for my English <laughs> I hope you guys enjoy this look um, thank you so much for watching and see you later bye bye